I'm JBigTicket23 from GreenPCGamers.com and in this video we are going to do a processor upgrade and install as well as install 384 gig of RAM in a PowerEdge R640 server. We'll also post a link to our PowerEdge R640 hardware upgrade guide in the description of this video that will show you all of the hardware that we install in this video and more. If you own or regularly work on PowerEdge R640 servers, consider subscribing to the channel because this is going to be part of a playlist of PowerEdge R640 hardware upgrade guides. Here's a little more detail on the upgrades that we'll be installing. We are going to go from dual Intel Xeon Bronze 3104 6 core processors to dual Intel Xeon Gold 6240 18 core processors. We'll also show you how to install 384 gig of memory using 32 gig modules and we'll replace the old processors first and then do the memory upgrade. If you plan to emulate this processor install, make sure you update your BIOS with the existing processors first to ensure that you have all of the latest Intel microcode updates installed. We are not going to show you how to update the BIOS in this video. However, we do have another video on our PowerEdge R640 playlist that will show you how to update your BIOS via the iDRAC 9 web GUI. We'll start by removing the top panel to our PowerEdge R640 server. We now have access to the processor heat sinks that are located in the center of the chassis. And we're gonna use a T30 Torx bit to loosen the screws that are locking the heat sinks down onto the motherboard. Now that the screws are loose, we can push the blue retention clips toward the center of the chassis to release the each heat sink. Be very careful during this process because the processors will be attached to the bottom of the heat sinks and the CPU pins on the motherboard will be exposed. Now we're going to show you how to remove the old processor from the heat sink. This requires a flathead screwdriver and a forgiving surface like foam for a soft landing if you drop the processor. Place the heatsink on the foam and push the flathead under the plastic clip by the yellow release diagram. Then gently twist and slightly pry up to release the plastic CPU clip from the heatsink. You can then release the other three sections of the CPU clip from the heatsink to remove the processor. We'll then clean the heat sink so it's ready for some fresh heat paste for optimized cooling. These are the new processors that we're going to install. They are Intel Xeon Gold 6240 18-core 2.6 GHz processors with a max turbo frequency of 3.9 GHz. These processors will give us quite a bit of flexibility when virtualizing this server. We'll now show you how to remove the old processor from the black processor bracket, as well as put the processor bracket onto the new processor. Now we'll show you how to apply some fresh thermal heat paste. We like to use heat paste produced by Shinetsu Microsci. Dell's manual recommends that we use high performance heat sinks for this install. The part number on the heat sink is C69RH and they have a copper rectangle on them that mitigates heat better than the standard aluminum heat sinks. Now it's time to attach the high performance heat sink to the processor bracket. Line up the arrows on the heat sink and processor bracket to make the proper connection. Also, remember to use a soft surface like foam during this process to avoid damaging the connection on the processor chip.
We are finally ready to install the processors onto the system board. You will again line up the arrow from the heatsink to match the arrow on the system board for a proper install. Make sure and gently press each side of the heatsink to evenly lock in the blue retention clips onto the system board. We can now use our T30 Torx bit to firmly attach the heat sinks to the system board. Dell's manual also requires that we install high performance fans in our R640 because the processors that we installed are 150 watts or more. This fan upgrade may not apply to you if you are installing lower wattage processors. We are now going to show you our 384 gig memory upgrade and install. Our upgrade is simple. We have 12 32 gig modules that will install into slots A1 through A6 and B1 through B6. We must use both memory channels because we have two processors installed. Sometimes it can be hard to see the memory slot numbers on the motherboard. The slots are also referenced on the plastic system airflow guide. Now we'll put the top panel back on the server and plug it in so we can verify that our new hardware upgrades are showing up in the F2 setup. First, we'll go to memory settings to verify that the memory is showing up. We'll then go to processor settings to verify that the processors are being recognized as well. And finally, we'll verify that the iDRAC 9 utility is recognizing the new hardware upgrades as well. With these new hardware upgrades, we can install our favorite virtualization software and start creating virtual machines. If this video was helpful to you, please consider subscribing to the channel and thank you so much for watching.